Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting beer review and another Bavarian Hellas. It's always right time for a Bavarian Hellas in my opinion. This is from the Marsbräu uh, brewery located in Bamberg in um, Upper Franconia or uh, Oberfranken uh, as it's called in German. And um, yeah, this is their Hellas Vollbier. Uh, this brewery is quite traditional uh, and um, old has quite uh, a long history which I'll read a little, a little bit about, of course. Uh, founded in 1670 and uh, yeah, you see they have the, their um, uh, not the, the tall labels uh, or the tall uh, bottles but um, it's a little bit uh, not that tall but wider so of course it's 0 0.5 liter anyway gives a little bit more old impression uh, to me but um, also, yeah, I'll show you the cap here as well and the front label, which is quite uninteresting in my opinion, it doesn't happen so much about it. Um, here's the back label and um, Bamberger Original Helles. Gerade euch und gerade unser Helles ist kein Trunk für viele Worte, sondern eine ehrliches Direktes Bier, doch lieber ein wenig philosophisch, aber bitte sehr obendrauf sanisch. Unter drunter goldgelb, inner drin mild, feinwürzig und mit einer leichten Süße. Aber schon auch mit einer gewissen Hopfenblume und von einer Malzigkeit im Ausklang, die einem sofort Lust aufs nächste Seil macht. Farbe goldgelb. Hopfen, Hallertauer Tradition, Mittelfrüh, Hefe, Untergärisch, Bittere, 3 uh, out of 10. Zutaten, Brauwasser, Gerstenmalz, Hopfen, Mars, Bräu, Bamberg, located in Bamberg, of course. Das Mars, aller Dinge, uh, 4.9 ABV. Uh, yeah, I'll give you the link to the brewer's website also in the description box below, as always, so you can check that out. And I can also link to a, a video which shows uh, where the garden and where they uh, grow their ingredients from. So it um, gives a nice impression to me. A uh, brewer that cares about the quality of the beers, of course, like all German brewers, uh, produce local raw materials on their own. Um, and the uh, brewing process also, of course traditional and uh, carefully um, brewed. So this is gonna be interesting. Uh, I always, I really like uh, the Bavarian Hellas style. Uh, uh, but I'm gonna go through some history about this brewery. The Brauerei Mar is a brewery in uh, Bamberg, Upper Franconia. It has been owned by the Michel family since 1895. Around 23,000 hectoliters of beer are produced in the brewery each year. The history of the Mars brewery goes back to the 16th century. As early as 1541, Hans Siegler acquired a plot from land from Michael Schneider, which later became known as the Siegelhütte. The Sweidler plan. Uh, plan, the earliest printed city view of Bamberg by Petrus Sweidler, shows a brewery and inn there in uh, 1602. The brewery was considerably destroyed during the Thirty Years' War and burned down completely in 1650. The brewery was first mentioned in 1670 and in 1683 the brewery was rebuilt under the name Siegelhütte at its current location in the Wunderburg. Between 1716 and 1798, the brewery was owned by the Steinfeld family. By marrying Regina Steinfeld, Caspar Eiberlein took over the management of the brewery. He built a new building in 1826, which housed the inn and the brewery house called uh, Zumbrenner. After Caspar Eberlein's death, the brewery was run by his daughter's husband until it was finally put up for sale in 1837. The brewery's current name goes back to the buyer Karl Maar, who acquired the property in 1840. 
the Michel era began with the acquisition of the brewery in the Wunderburg together with the rock cellar uh, on um, Stefansberg in 1895 by Johann Michel Jr. In 1908 the brewery building in the Wunderburg was demolished and replaced by the brick building which is now a listed building. Uh, the chimney for the brew house now measured 32 meters. The high investments soon took their toll. In 1913 the company went back, went back bankrupt and was uh, auctioned off. It was bought back by Elise Michel, Johan Michel's third wife. The brewery remained in the family ownership. After a war-related break, the company resumed production in 1949 when the brewing license was regained. Finally, the company Marsboy Bamberg uh, Gebreu Michel OHG was founded in 1957 under the direction of Albert and Wilhelm Michel, sons of Elise Michels. In 1971, the third generation took over the brewery with Ingmar Michel. Stefan Michel has been the sole managing director of a Mars Boy since 2016. Um, that's some history about the brewery and about this specific beer, the, uh, the Helles Vollbier. Uh, it's possible to read uh, the following on their, on their website. Um, this can't go wrong, the light always tastes good. Straight ahead and straight on, our Helles is not a drink for many words, but an honest direct beer. But uh, would you prefer a little philosophical, but please cream, creamy on top, golden yellow underneath, mild inside spicy and with a slight sweetness, but also with a certain hop flavor and a malty finish that immediately makes you want the next saddle. The culinary mouse boy beer recommendation with steamed or fried fish salad mild cheese stew uh, and um, color golden yellow hop hallertau hercules middle mittelfru yeast bottom fermented. So that was the same text as I read on the, on the back label, uh, but uh, translated into English. Uh, yeah, over to the tasting part of this one. Um, they had uh, different looking labels before, which in my opinion looked better, but they uh, did it more modern, unfortunately. That's something that I've been mentioning in other beer reviews, that I prefer that uh, the breweries not are uh, redesigning their labels to make them look more modern, and because modern back, uh, labels are modern design is not looking nice in my opinion, it just looks boring like this one. The color combination though is quite nice with a brown bottle, red text on a uh, pale blue background. Uh, Mouse boy his, but I mean, the important thing is of course uh, the beer quality, the tradition, how it tastes, and so on. They also have some other beers in, that they're brewing, of course. Uh, so feel free to check out their website, which I will link to, as I said, and um, you can uh, watch for yourselves. But let's open this one up, the Mavsboy Helles. And pour it up. That's nice, perfect pouring this time in my opinion, with the beautiful white head that rises up, nice two finger head. Um, this is what I want to achieve, uh, with the white head that rises up above the edge of the glass. You can see, doesn't that look beautiful, see all the, not that many bubbles, but uh, really. Real nice looking in my opinion, pale, yellow, easy to see through, really, really appetizing in this uh, glass. Looks really, really nice in my opinion, perfectly, just the way I want um, a Bavarian Hellas. 
with a nice compact white foam head, always important also. Uh, maintain the white foam head uh, during while you drink all the way down because it keeps the taste in the glass, not only at the beginning but all the way through. So that's important, that's a, a recommendation. Build up a foam head and keep it the way it is. Uh, this is also a compact foam head which uh, is a show no quality and uh, also as I said it keeps the taste uh, the right way. So that's important. Um, yeah, as I said, it looks really, real typical and it looks really nice. Get the aroma. Mild uh, Hellas, really easy to feel the Bavarian Hellas. High quality, feel the balance between the ingredients. Really, really nice and refreshing this. But this is gonna be really 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 big pleasure to drink so uh, this is one that I've been looking forward to and I, I bet I'm not gonna be disappointed at all at the uh, mouse boy Helles um, because I love Helles so much so fresh and so nice the Bavarian Helles of course it's the ones that you should uh, go for in my opinion um, but yeah this is gonna be interesting I mean have a, have a look at how, how beautiful this looks like Cheers, Prost. Really nice. Have this, um, of course, typical Bavarian Hell's taste. Um, the balance is just amazing. The quality is uh, something obvious that you can taste, which is really, really nice, really, really refreshing. And find this one, a mouse boy Helles. It's a great, great Helles. It's um, it's a fantastic Helles in every way. Really, really refreshing, nice, and yeah, as I said, easy to feel the high quality raw materials and craftsmanship during the brewing process. It's a, it's a great beer. Big recommendation for me. This one. Mouse Boy Hell is, is fantastic. So, uh, my recommendation is that you find it. Of course. Um, and as I always used to mention, I really, really enjoy to do these reviews. To try these fantastic beers. I mean, they've been absolutely great. Of course the best ones in the world. Not possible to do anything better than the, what the Germans are doing because they do it the perfect way. Just both the ingredients and the, uh, the brewing process and the old thought behind it. The, um, the effort and uh, the carefully uh, made craftsmanship. It's just amazing. That's, uh, this is a good example of that. Really, really nice. Yeah. So refreshing, nice. Um, has a really nice, nice flavor, as I mentioned, and really easy to drink. So it's a big recommendation for me, the mouse boy it is. And um, yeah, feel free to check out their website also. Go and have a look at their um, history, um, their YouTube channel, take a look on the other beers that they're having. Uh, they do have a, a Kindle beer, for example, that's uh, quite well known called Ungespundet, uh, which means unfiltered, which is uh, the way the uh, the Keller beers are uh, are produced, um, but that's it for now. I think that's the Mouse Boy uh, Helles, which is a good beer. Uh, it's a really, really amazing Helles. Um, so uh, it's a big recommendation, as I said. With that said, I hope you. Uh, have enjoyed this beer review and that you continue to follow my channel for more interesting beer reviews uh, from Germany of course and um, 
Yeah, I hope I see you again in next German beer review.